moving straight to our very first story and the finance minister ken Uferiata delivered the 2022 media budget review in parliament after it was postponed due to government engagement with the international monetary fund for the support making an official remark about the decision to engage the fund Uferiata provided information on how revenue and expenditure had performed in the first half of this year the government of ghana shall provide funding through GIF to take equity in the special purpose vehicle to be created by GIF for the project. Mr. Speaker, PPP projects must be self-financing and they will be told. Mr. Speaker, significant investments continue to be made by government towards the development of a modern railway network. We believe in this because we know that creating an alternative means of transport, especially for goods, will ease the pressures on our roads and future impacts of global crude price hikes on farm products. For example, government is within target to complete the construction of the new Terman Pakadan rail line by the end of this year. The project is currently about 92% complete. The operationalization of the project is expected to enhance efficiency at the Tema port and provide the shortest possible transportation road between the southern and the northern parts of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, government continues to implement key initiatives to enhance productivity, scale up entrepreneurship prospects, and build resilient systems. These initiatives underpin economic activities in a modern economy and significant and safeguard our transformation agenda. Mr. Speaker, we have placed human capital developments at the core of our national transformation efforts since 2017. We have invested 5.3 billion to enable 1.3 million Ghanaian children access to secondary education under the free SHS program at the end of 2021 to improve access to education. Out of the 571,892 registered GHS students, 555,353 represented 97.1% were placed into senior high schools this year. This is significant. We are aware of reported challenges in assessing and transporting food for students in SHS and we are fixing it. In response, we have engaged stakeholders and devised a program that ensures that schools will not be disrupted and our students are well fed. Government has also recently completed 17 additional projects, including classroom blocks, dormitories, staff bungalows, and libraries as part of infrastructure expansion in senior high schools to deal with the record increases in student numbers. Mr. Speaker, we shall not compromise on President Akufuado's commitment to giving all our children the opportunity to be educated from kindergarten to university without the ability to pay being a hindrance. Free secondary and TV education are not under review. We'll continue to fund them, we'll continue to improve them, we'll continue to create efficiencies. Still staying with the media.